Hello everyone, this is Anayat Mir with my Active Directory Migration Tool Video 2. In this video, I am going to use my source.com domain and target.com domain. This is my source.com domain where I am going to add approximately 5000 users. This is my target UK, target.com domain where I am going to migrate users from a source domain to target domain. So this is the environment what you are looking at right now on the top. I am using a source.com domain where I am going to create 5000 users in this video using PowerShell. Uh, my source.com domain has a net bias name source NY my target.com domain has a host name target but net bias name is target uk so here i wrote this in my this uh, small uh, window that we are going to create 5000 source users in active directory later on i will migrate 1000 users for a demo purposes this is a member one which is a member server under source domain i will install a sql server in this member server and will migrate as well in one of my these videos so this is my part two video so number one is done source.com domain in video one number two is done in video one which was my target.com domain so i am going to add 5000 users using a powershell command in my source domain so whatever basically i will do i will point out in numbers i do have a different worksheet where i am going to show you so far uh, up to uh, what number of videos i have completed and you will see uh, whatever is available so far and you will keep watching these videos by part one and part two and part four part six etc so i am going to show you again this is a hyper v environment in this hyper v environment you will see this uh, source and target domains and i am going to show you a command from the powershell which you can use i will try to add all related commands into a dropbox link or uh, into a description where you can easily get uh, those commands and copy and use them we can create a global group if you create a group in your source domain and you don't migrate group but you migrate a user who is a member of this group actually uh, you have an option to migrate a user account with a group so you will see that group from source to destination whichever uh, destination location you point out uh, this will be migrated to but that will be a copy so originally original uh, source uh, domain will con contain source users and source group but a copy will be migrated to the target site so here i wrote a, a script uh, in a notepad actually and you can just uh, set it up this notepad first set up user accounts plan it and set up a password plan it and then you hit enter after few seconds or few minutes you will see it depends that how many users you are going to create so i have created one uh, dot dot five thousand I, I have created five thousand so i have to refresh my domain now i will be able to see those users but uh, my setup is a uh, 2000 users you can view simply you can uh, expand the column and look at these all users you have just created few minutes ago or few seconds ago so we can make some users members of some groups 
as i said before when you migrate a user account user account also uh, take a group with it if you choose that option so you don't have to then migrate those groups again and again but uh, just keep an eye on these uh, commands uh, very simple easy commands from the powershell this is a loop style command that can create even a million user directly into your active directory all you got to do to uh, increase the number of users from the script this is a download from internet uh, i download i have downloaded active directory migration tool and also a password migration tool or password migration pes uh, dll dynamic link libraries i kept under my host pc but uh, i have decided uh, to move these files under my uh, target domain so i am going to create this new folder at my target domain where i am going to dump whatever i have uh, in my host server so i am using exactly uh, a uh, physical as i intended to show you that uh, one physical server is running multiple virtual uh, server so this is my shared location where i am going to also download sql server so sql server will be uh, installed on a member server first then i will use a service account for sql server then i will install sql server on my target domain as well so uh, sql express 2012 is uh, good enough you can download that version because uh, sql express is a supported version for active directory migration tool it is a very nice enhanced uh, well scripted tool which you can use for free if you go for some other tools you have to pay a lot of money for that and i have actually used this tool in approximately uh, seven different big projects uh, and uh, it worked very well it was uh, different uh, before if you go back five or six years and if you come back in today's date you will see a huge difference and benefits of this uh, tool now uh, it is a, a very well maintained tool and i am actually a big fan of this tool because i have used it and i have a very good experience to use this tool in a very complex environment so here we go we are going to install uh, download first uh, sql server as well so you will have a sql i'm gonna save it and then you will have your uh, active directory migration tool and you have your uh, uh, password uh, dll libraries basically you can run this so keep in mind that when you run a, a, a password migration tool that will go on source domain but that will require a uh, encryption key that key will be uh, at the target site so you're going to create a key first and then you're going to go uh, into the uh, source site and you're going to install password migration tool of course you're going to install uh, active directory migration tool first as at the target site so at target you can create a couple of containers uh, just for a future prep so you can prepare these containers at the target site where you are going to migrate your users or your uh, groups from a source domain you also can create some more containers uh, if you want to migrate some uh, service accounts so here i'm just uh, creating a, a random name of this container uh, i will create a test user only one test user first to migrate once everything is ready and i will migrate a sid history security identifier i will migrate a user account i will migrate groups with the user account and also i will migrate password existing password for the user account nobody would know what was the password so whatever password was a user who owns that account would know that password so once we, you you migrate a user from source to destination 
when user logs in, uh, there would be uh, no issue actually uh, with existing password. And by default, there is an option that you can change the password. At first log on, uh, you can eliminate that also through a PowerShell script. Uh, I will uh, show you if I get a chance. So here you are at the source domain. So I'm going to create this uh, SQL underscore SVC service account. Service account should not expire and a user should not be able to change the password and put the password here. Very common password which, which I am using for service account. And this account actually will be used for SQL SQL Server installation only for member server. Then I will create one more service account that also will be used to run a SQL Server on target domain. So you have a different uh, or you will have or you may have different uh, service accounts. I, I'm just uh, planning ahead of the time that uh, I will show you the basic concept from uh, this uh, you can pick it up because my job is just to show you a, a little track where you're gonna go and how uh, you're gonna do this and where you are heading actually so make sure that you have these are all downloads available because we are going to use these all uh, in a big time in a future video so I am breaking up a couple of parts of this video series so you can concentrate on one topic uh, in one video so in the first video actually i uh, created both domains in this video i am adding those users downloading some tools what we are going to use in uh, our future videos so those tools are admt active directory migration tool and you have a sql uh, server express edition of windows server 2012 and you have actually this uh, pw d mig uh, dot msi password migration tool uh, these are basically our dynamic link libraries then you are going to use in my next video or uh, one of these video series whenever we need to activate our uh, pes key we need to run a command to uh, create an encryption key on a target domain we are going to do that one here i am going to just randomly uh, doing this uh, a, a new folder where I am sharing these all downloads so I know that these all downloads reside at target so whenever I need ADMT I know where it is and whenever I need my SQL for two different servers one is a target domain one is a member server so I will come here and get a SQL server so here first I'm putting here SQL to be installed on a member server later on I will use the same copy and I will install on a target domain currently you see uh, my uh, OU is empty where I'm going to migrate users but later on it will be populated so here it is my uh, word document where uh, I'm going to show you my original document as well before we move on to the next video that will be uh, very interesting here a uh, few things uh, were done already already in several videos you may not see all videos posted but just take a look on this document and a lot of work has been done and uh, uh, I gave them a number on these all uh, tasks so uh, when uh, you look at this document you can just pause the video uh, and and scroll down and up in this video and take a look that what is a requirement for uh, Active Directory migration tool you will actually uh, set up a trust between both domains you're gonna set up condition forwarders you're gonna verify domain and forest functional labels you're gonna do some prerequisites as uh, for example adding a DMT tool and adding PES tool and creating a encryption key then also look at if you need to modify the registry and etc so this was just a, a brief overview of my video too and I will go ahead and come back in a next video to explain a few more things uh, about uh, this ADMT then I will uh, do again uh, live uh, demos on uh, the remaining videos so I hope you like this video 
and thank you for watching this video i am going to come back for next video see you thank you bye